With the variety of hand splints that we offer, you can pretty much choose one that will probably meet the needs of your patient on their hands. But sometimes we just have that really challenging patient that we need a little bit more and we try to give you the tools to be able to do that. Again, it's very simple. You don't have, it's not high tech. You don't have to be heavily, um, have a lot of education. It's just looking at the patient's hand and figuring out, just thinking about it. I'm gonna demonstrate these with the restorative hand and we see this is just the regular finger separators. Those would go here, Velcroed to each side. And you just move them up or back to be able to pull the little separators between each finger. If you need a little bit beefed up finger separator, then you would go to the ulnar drift. This could be a patient has rheumatoid arthritis or other issues that they have a drifting, an ulnar drift toward the ulnar side from the MCPs. They could have scissoring. They could have fingers that are just out of whack. Whatever the condition, you would decide which way you want to tug them and you put the finger separators on in that direction. Let's say it's for ulnar drift, because that's fairly common with rheumatoid and your fingers are going in this direction. You want the Velcro tabs. These are silky uh, finger separators and there's a Velcro tab sewn to the end of each. They're plenty long that if you have a finger that is way out, you don't want to just pull it in. You want to very gradually work it in. Now we're going to Velcro to each side of the splint and your patient's fingers will, you'll thread these through, scoot the fingers in, then each finger can be attached to the other very comfortably and very safely. Let's say we have a finger that is overlapping like this, you would very carefully feed this through and you may not tug it over. You may just get that loosened up, start to massage here and loosen up that finger and then eventually you can bring it over and with time you can bring it farther to make a little more space between each finger. Those are the ulnar drift finger separators. If you have hyperextending fingers, um, I remember a gentleman one time years ago that had Parkinson's and whether it was the Parkinson's itself or whether it was the medicine he was on, his whole body was racked with movement. I can't do that, it makes me have a headache. But his fingers had done that for so long they were literally bending back. This was designed for him and we have found it just so helpful for so many patients. We looked at him and thought, well, you know, tone is tone, so we need that fishing pole type of tug to be flexible, but encourage the fingers to come down. This goes over the end of the splint. So it would allow that tug, and you can put it as tight as you need to. Just watch their skin integrity. But it allowed movement, but it brought the fingers down gently. Um, this gentleman, his whole body just racked with tone. And by doing this, it wasn't a 15 minute wait like we typically see with relax relaxing neurological tone. It was almost immediate. His hand dropped in his lap, the other one dropped, and his whole body stilled. Now he would still do this every few seconds, but it allowed him to still his body and that was just by relaxing the tone in the fingers. You have, um, if you have ulnar deviation, ulnar drift from the wrist, and this is many times people sit in chairs with arms like wheelchairs so much that the gravity is bringing their hand down. After a while, 
you're going to have shortened tissue. This will shorten, this will lengthen, and you have uh, that deformity. So what we can do for that is on the wrist, you open this up and you put this little, it's like a pillow, right where the edge of the splint ends. And just tuck it around with Velcro. You can put this anywhere you have a problem, but for ulnar drift, you would put it right there. Then when you put the hand splint on, it does that nice tug bringing that over. So it's a real good way to align the wrist. Without that, just with this, it, it's just not enough tug to, to effectively uh, realign that wrist. This is called the infinity. It's shaped like an infinity sign, like a crazy eight. And you can use it with any of our hands and it makes whichever hand you use it with a dorsal hand. Our patients don't tolerate just a typical dorsal hand that would have straps underneath. They would have swelling, uh, could cause skin breakdown, it could decrease the circulation to the extremity. So we would add this infinity to the base of any of the regular hand splints. You just want to make sure that your straps are long enough to go over it. If you have a patient with swelling, uh, we might need to send you some extenders and these would just be straps that velcro to the end of the strap to make it longer because if it is swelling many times a flex technology splint will help decrease that swelling or that edema um, sweat glands um, swelling all that is controlled by nerves uh, quite a bit so when you have tone and you're gripping in a lot of times you'll have edema when you allow that tone to relax, then the edema can go away. So we will imagine that my hand is the patient's and we put this over the back of the hand. The straps simply attach with Velcro. and come around. What you've done is you've sandwiched the hand between the dorsal infinity component and the base of the any of the hand splints. If you have a, a wrist, let's say, that is like this, many times that's why people want a, um, a dorsal. You would simply mold the back and the base, the normal hand splint at the same time. The infinity simply opens up. This is all Velcro hook. It opens up and you would mold it and mold the hand splint for whatever degree you have. It could be this way. You just continually sandwich the hand in between and when you mold one, you mold the other. So you can take that hand to here or this hand to here. Therapists tell me that the dorsal component helps to relax that uh, extensor tone that comes on the back of the hand, so it makes a, a, a nice component. These are just ulnar drift uh, finger separators for children. This would be a regular finger separator for children. Now, if you have hyperextended joints, let's say you have hyperextended joints at the MCP, very common uh, with cerebral palsy, with other brain and spinal cord injury conditions. Now this is the component, the plastic that is inside the restorative hand and you see the thumb and it's been molded very similar to a lot of patients conditions. Let's say you have hyperextended MCPs. 
this roll, you would peel the plastic off the Velcro. It has an adhesive on it, so the plastic seals the adhesive. When you peel it off, you want to look at your hand and let's say they're hyperextending. You can even take a little pencil or a marker and make the mark on the hand splint where you want to stick this. Now it will come back off and put it on, but it's better to get it centered pretty quickly and then um, your adhesive will last longer. But if I am like this, I want to put that roll right here, not here, but here. Then with a strap on the distal side, you pull that down. It's like if you put your finger in the palm of a baby's hand and they will grasp it. You do the same thing. You just go back toward the midline of the body and put it here. So you would put it on the hand splint where it needs to be. You put the cover back on this. Then when you fit it, this hyperextended joint joints with the strap over the end brings your fingers down nice and comfortably. If you have just one joint, you can get the smaller size and you would put it just again back from the joint on the base of the hand splint, put the cover back on, and then you want to strap bringing that down. Now, if they're really, really hard and feel like concrete, you want to be really careful and not create a pressure area here. You can actually heat mold this plastic, get it warm enough that you can push down on it and create a little crater there to protect whatever is sticking down, whatever joint, so you don't have any pressure at all. Because the first thing we want to do is do no harm while we're creating extension or correction in our patients. These are accessories that you can get to go on any of the uh, restorative medical hand splints to customize it for those really difficult patients.